the Bears Den with Drake Toll. Welcome back into the Petty Clinic Low T Bears Den. I'm Drake Toll alongside Armstrong Sims. 94. It's a significant number. 94 is the year the Arkansas Razorbacks won a national championship in men's basketball. I remember that. Uh, some other stuff happened in 94. I think my parents graduated high school, maybe. Some other things happened in the 90s. How about 91.5? Is that number significant to you at all? 91.5? Talking about numbers in the 90s. 91.5. Parents graduated high school in 94. Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. 90, 91.5. Is that number significant to you at all? 91.5? Yep. No. That's Molly Miller, head coach of Grand Canyon's women's basketball team. That is her career win percentage, 91.5%. It is number one of all active coaches, no matter their, their division. She guided Drury University, Division II Drury University, 32-0 record in the 2019, 2018-2019 season. They were the number one team every week of the Division II poll of the NCAA tournament. That was prior. So that was a 2019-2020 season, 32-0 going into the postseason. Season canceled, obviously, in Division II. They would, would have won a national championship there at Drury University. She was an athlete. She played at Drury as well, an alumni, and then ended up coaching the team and taking them to heights that the university had never seen before, winning again. 92, almost 92% of her games at Drury. Last season at Grand Canyon, she helped build a program already. Year number one at Grand Canyon, she was able to build something. Molly Miller has now become one of the hottest names in this coaching search that, again, we can't verify whether or not she's had conversations with the, the, uh, the program here at Baylor, the administration here at Baylor. But we do know if there's anybody that we at the studio are honing in on right now for someone that could be a legitimate candidate, a viable candidate at Baylor, it's got to be Molly Miller. You, you make a hire like this, uh, it's not a splash. It's not somebody that everybody in national media is talking about, that Molly Miller is the next head coach at Baylor University, and it's going to be a huge hire, and she's going to bring you know 15 crazy good recruits with her to Baylor. Not, not the case necessarily. Not as it would be with a Joni Taylor. But she's reminiscent of a young Kim Mulkey. A lot of folks have said that. If you want that same fire and passion, if you want a coach who's going to toss the jacket, be clapping loud, energy. Molly Miller is that coach. She's 34 years old, family woman. She's a Christian. She's coaching at Grand Canyon University, which is a private Christian college. She's been there for one season, and she's already left her mark. Last season at Grand Canyon, they went 18-7 and seven overall. That was her first season. I want to take you back to the season before that, where Grand Canyon was just 15-12 and 12, the season before she came there. The year before that, 2018-2019, Grand Canyon was 7-20. and 20. So she's two years removed, just two Two years removed in a program that had seven wins on a season. She walks into Grand Canyon year one, takes them all the way to the championship game of their conference in the WAC, the WAC tournament, losing to California Baptist, who was the one seed, or a great California Baptist team, I should say. Went 18-7 in her first season at, at the helm of a Division I school. Grand Canyon, not historically great at women's basketball either. Molly Miller walks in and says, I'll do you a favor. I'll win some ball games right away. Put my name in the map. And I've got a 92% career win percentage, which is nuts. It's currently number one amongst any active coaches on the men's or women's side in collegiate basketball, no matter their, their division. So I think you'd be remiss if you didn't put a name like that in the hat. Young, you want young because you want to be able to sustain a coach for multiple years. You hire a 70-year-old coach, what do you got him for five years? You want somebody that can come in. The ideal coach to me, to me, is a coach that can walk into a program, spend 20 years at that program, win for 20 years, go 30, go 40, be a lifer, and do a lot for the university, do a lot for the school, do a lot for the program. Molly Miller is that at the age of just 34 right now. You add to it, she's fiery. She's got a lot of passion and energy. She's young, and she reminds me a lot, again, of the, the, the solid, the best attributes of Kim Mulkey that made her so much fun, so engaging on the sidelines, and so loved by players. She's somebody, Molly Miller, that you want 
on your court. You want on your sideline. You don't want to face them because they have that brash, outgoing personality. You're like, oh, I want to beat them because they're cool and they have swagger. She is that. She's who you want on your sidelines. Get to know Molly Miller, head coach at Grand Canyon University. Oh, at Grand Canyon University and what she is, uh, what she has brought to that to that university and what she could bring to Baylor. She was Division II Coach of the Year two seasons in a row, leading Drury University to 67 and one records. I get it, D2, but in some regards, in some regards, it is. I don't want to say it's tougher to win in D2 because it's not, but work with me here in the fact that I say it's tougher to recruit a lot of times in D2 in the way that it is really t- it's hard to sell your brand when you're competing for athletes that could possibly play Division One. Like, how tough is it to sustain really good winning seasons in the D2 when the players that are playing for you are elite, should be elite for D2 level, most of them are going Division One, right? So it's really tough to be able to try to recruit players to stay D2, play for you, win a national championship. She was able to do that at a sustained level. Listen to these numbers. 67-1 and one in her last two seasons at Drury University and 180 wins combined compared to 17 losses at Drury University. She was unbelievable, remarkable. She knows how to win. Under Miller, the Drury Panthers played fast and full court. It's fun to watch. Scored 90 points per game. Forced 31 turnovers per game. 180 wins, 17 losses, 90 points per game, forced 31 turnovers per game. That's not just like one time. That, that, that would be a lead for a team like a, like a Baylor, an elite college basketball team. I don't think you can do that at a Division I level at Baylor. But to force 20, 25 would be nuts. I'd take that 100%. 31 is unconscious. Unconscious. She was third-team All-American as a player, too. She's a player. She's a player. She said, as a player, she was an ankle biter. I just had to go out there and get after it. You know who would say that? That sounds just like Kim Mulkey. Molly Miller, current head coach, Grand Canyon University. Strong Christian, family woman, brings in a a winning pedigree and could be a great pickup or someone that Baylor should at least look at because that could be be the future. Molly Miller could very well be the future of women's college basketball – if, say, she moves into a new role in Division I where she can win at a high level, a high rate, and possibly contend for national championships, maybe she does that at Baylor University. Maybe Baylor's the one that takes a chance and might just work out because I tell you what, there are very few coaches who can win like that at any level. That is remarkable. That is unbelievable what Molly Miller has done as a young, young head coach. She's a diamond in the rough. Somebody's going to get a great head coach when they hire Molly Miller. And again, maybe it's Baylor University that takes that chance and brings in Miller. When we come back on the other side of this break, Morgan Uber, who works for the Big 12, Big 12 digital correspondent, joins our show to talk about Kim Mulkey's departure from Baylor, what it means for the conference, and the fraternity of head coaches in the conference. Following that, Mike Neighbors, the head coach of the University of Arkansas women's basketball program, who beat Kim Mulkey last season, will join the show and talk about what adding Mulkey to the SEC does for the league. I'm Drake Toll. That's Armstrong Sims. When we come back, Morgan Uber from the Big 12 joins the show. Don't go anywhere. This is Up Tempo. The search begins with a vacancy at the head coaching position for Baylor women's basketball for the first time in 21 years. Mac Rhodes has begun the evaluation of coaches across.